How's it going YouTube? My name is Sherbert and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my keybinds and settings inside of Super People. Now, these are the keybinds and settings that work best for me. I do have a 60% keyboard, so I actually had to change and alter a lot of keybinds just to make sure that they work. Uh, they work really, really well. I like them. Uh, so hopefully you guys can use a couple of them. Hopefully it inspires you to change your own. But these are the keybind settings that work for me at the moment. So just jumping into it right real quick. We're just going to go to settings. I'll show you guys my graphics. Uh, graphics, 1080p windowed mode, uh, 144 frames. I have 95 field of view. And then below that, I have everything on high except for shadows, which is low because I do stream. I do make YouTube videos. I want my content to be enjoyable. And these are the settings I have. So this is strictly just for like making sure streams nice, making sure the YouTubes are nice. I'll still hashtag follow my YouTube uh, and subscribe. I do stream right here on YouTube. So this is just what I have. Uh, super, super simple. High on everything except for shadows. And then when it comes to controls, I have, you know, just standard sensitivity. I, I haven't changed this at all. My mouse, I'm running at 800 DPI, uh, which works really, really well. I, I haven't had no problems with it. I've never had to change this. It's been really nice. And then for my actual keybind settings, I, I switched a good deal of them. Um, WASD, standard. Uh, control, walk, run, shifts, you know, jump, space bar, things like that. My crouch is C, lie prone is X. Uh, now my lean left and right, I did change to my mouse. I just find it to be very, very, it just flows better, right? So like I can lean right, and then also be strafing left. I could I could be doing all these different options because I'm I have my lean left and my right bound to my mouse. I've had that for years and years. I played Tarkov forever and ever, and that's just how I how I used it. And it's just been a habit that I've kept through any every game that I've ever played. Lean left and right has always been on my mouse. So uh, four and five as lean left and right. Interact is F. Change view V. Auto run equals. Look around left alt. I uh, to be honest with you, I've never pressed any of these buttons. It's perfectly fine. I just don't. And then below that, we have swimming, spacebar, C, standard, uh, fire, left trigger, or excuse me, left on the mouse button, trigger. Uh, ADS only. I do have ADS only. I had the scope mode, like the shoulder fire thing, but it was just absolutely just wrecking me. So I only ADS and I have tap ADS. I just like it. Again, I've been using it since Tarkov. So tap ADS only, reload R. I unbound next weapon and previous weapon because it didn't make sense to have two different ways to switch your guns. Um, and also too, it was on scroll reel, if I remember correctly, and it was messing up my variable zoom when I was aiming with a four times and an eight times. So I, I took this out because I didn't need it and it was actually kind of making me angry face. So my primary weapons to switch is one and two. Uh, it's so much easier just to have one dedicated button to do one thing instead of you know three different options to switch your guns. One and two, switch my guns. Scroll wheel I left for variable zoom and I love it. It's been super nice. Uh, I did unbind sidearm because I never pick it up. It's something I've never, ever, ever picked up actually. I don't think the sidearm is any good. I could be very wrong. I could be sleeping on it, but I have never felt the need to pick up a sidearm. And I felt like it was just a wasted space in terms of your button layout. So I did unbind three. I use it for my power bar, but I'll go into that later. Uh, number four is your special equipment. So that's your Gatling soldier's Gatling gun. There's your gas soldier's flamethrower, your uh, teleporter's um, tomahawk, your seeker's heartbeat, sen or heartbeat sensor, just all those special equipments that you use with the classes. That is default standard. I, I really like it being my four. Throwables is E. Now I did change that from the right lean. Throwables is E now. So like my Molotovs, my grenades, my, um, uh, yeah, was it your smoke grenades? Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought. Your smoke grenades, everything that's not a flashbang is E. It's really, really nice because I can just press E and just start lobbing as quickly as I can. It's really, really fast. I love it. Um, so E is my throwables. And then down below that is your active skills, G, standard default, your teleport, your super jump, your um, any of your ults and things like that is generally G. Slide C, holster weapon is Z. Uh, I'm, not too, I'm not too sure if that's default or not, but that's Z. Cancel skill F, fire, change fire modes B is pretty standard. Uh, for the throwing grenades, I unbound like equip grenade and some equip smoke grenade, equip Molotov cocktail. The only thing I really have banned now, it bound, is the equip flashbang. Uh, so because I did have those open keys, Q was open and I decided for it to be my flashbangs because I do main shotgun master. I love throwing flashbangs. I want to make sure that whenever I press Q, I know it's a flashbang. I don't ever have to like cycle through my E to find a flashbang. My flashbangs are quick, they're fast, they're accurate. It's just boom, 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 boom. I absolutely love Q being my flashbang. 
uh, unbound Molotov grenade and smoke grenade because again those are our E buttons. I don't I don't need second like two different versions of a grenade. Just E and Q. Uh, scope in and out. That is my scroll wheel. I love it. Highly highly recommend using it. It's really nice. Zeroing distance. Never ever have I ever needed it, nor will I ever use it. There is no need for it. I'm never in a position where I would need to like scope in, you know, for two, three, four hundred yards. Chances are, I, if, I, if I was, even in some crazy world that I was, I would just adjust for bullet drop and I would just aim a little higher. Uh, like I said, I do have a 60% keyboard, so I'm not going to press FN and then P and FN and then like the semicolon. It just, it's taking my hands off the keyboard, off my mouse, and it's just, you're, you're asking for it right here. So I don't ever use it. I don't know anybody who does, but if you do need it, it's right here. Uh, hold breath is shift, standard. Uh, now this I do believe I changed a little bit. So my healing item is six. Uh, so it's going to use your strongest healing item. So your emergency first aid kit, your first aid kit, things like that. I do have it on seven and eight, but to be honest with you, again, I'm not reaching all the way over to press it. I'm not going to take my hands that far off my, my WASD to press, you know, first aid or to press an emergency. I'm just going to use the healing palette. What is it? It's right here. It's your Y. So if you hold Y, it pulls up the whole scroll wheel thing. So you can just hold Y, scroll over to your emergency, scroll over to your first aid. It's much easier in my opinion. So I could be perfectly fine with that, with these unbound. I don't, I really don't need them. Uh, so six is my primary healing. I also bound five to be my compression bandages because those were for your grenades. I found that I was trying to heal, but instead of healing, I was pressing five on accident and then I was pulling out my grenade. It was a whole mess. Uh, so I did, I decided to make five, my compression bandages for like, if you're just like getting tickled by storm or if you just need a little bit of healing, if you're getting pushed and you just want to top off, it's much easier to know that five is always your compression bandage versus like, you know, pressing six and then having to cancel because it was your emergency. And then you have to use your wheel. It's just, it's much easier. Quality of life has been really, really nice for me uh, with five being my compression bandage and six just being my primary heal. And then down below that consume energy bar. That's been standard, but I don't use it. I just use T uh, very similar to your Y. If you hold T, you have your energy bar palette that'll show you exactly which energy bar you want. Um, but I also bound my power energy bar to three. And the reason I did this is not only because I took out that terrible sidearm macro, but whenever I'm eating a power bar, I never really want my line of sight to go away from the enemy. So I'm, I'm actively following my enemy. I don't want to lose line of sight by pulling up the energy bar palette to eat a power bar uh, because I could lose sight of him. He could hide. He, I could not know where he went. So I'd much rather press three, know that it's always a power bar and just rock on. Uh, so this way I'm never losing line of sight. It's fast. I don't have to worry about it. Three is always power bar. It, it's, it's great. Now you do have the option of making it F1, F2, F3. Again, I have a 60% keyboard, so I don't have that luxury of having it one, two, and three. Um, so that is why that is that. So <laughs> I'm sure this would be a lot easier if you had a full frame keyboard. Uh, but again, I just have 60%. I, I absolutely love it, but uh, we have to deal with what we have. So down below that super capsule, never used it. Um, I don't have any specific macros for any specific super capsule because I'm eating them all the time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so I do have energy bar palette T energy, uh, custom item palette. Y. those are default? Uh, that's usually how I consume most of my, almost all of my energy palettes. Or excuse me. You're right. Super capsules. Uh, you just pull the scroll wheel, eat the, eat the pill that's lit up. You're fine. Same thing with energy bar palette. You eat what you want, a defense, speed, power. So there's that. Uh, down below that, crafting is completely default. Haven't changed that at all. I love it. Uh, vehicles, I'm so hardly ever in the vehicle. That's all default. Changing seats, uh, pff, default. I don't ever really change seats. And then the audio, default, UI, default. Um, ping, you know, you're down on your scroll wheel. And then, yeah, this is all default. I haven't really changed you too much down here. Uh, they don't have replay feature at the moment. So that is all default perfectly fine. So yeah, so those are my, those are my key binds. Everything is really, really nice. Very, very simple. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope they, you know, this helped you in any way, but these are the key binds and the settings that I have right now on super people as of what's today, February 7th, 2022. So let me know if these guys, if these, if these guys, let me know if this video helped you. Uh, if there's any, you know, videos that you guys would like to make, let me know in the comment section down below. I do stream right here on YouTube, so please feel free to check me out. I do stream every single day, every single weekday, excuse me, uh, from 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time till about, you know, noon or one. So I uh, hope the video helped you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below and I uh, hope you guys have a great day and stay super.